The first thing we need to do is copy the source city script files. We do this so we don't have to overwrite the original files. Right click the game in Steam and select properties. Select the local files tab and then select browse local files. Navigate to the map file which you will modify. Copy the scripts file into your working folder. Return the Steam and start the mod tools. With the mod tools open, select the city editor. Open the city XML file with the latest year. Select the Auto Adjustment tab in the center. We will use this tool to automatically adjust turn files, AI files, and other city files. This will reduce the amount of work we have to do. Check all three checkboxes in this panel. Click the triple dot button beside Turn Events. Navigate to your working folder with your turnevents.xml file. Next, we need to add all the AI files. Click Add AI File, and then select your AI files. You will need to do this for each AI file. Finally, we need to do the same for the other city files. Click Add City File. Select the other city files. You will need to do this for each city file, except for the one you opened at the start. Once you have completed that, select the Current Cities tab. Scroll down to a city close to the city you wish to add. Select that city. Fill in the information on the left hand side. Remember, this is the latest game year. You can refer to the wiki for information on each variable. When you have added all the information, click the Save button. If you don't wish to overwrite the selected city, click No. When you're finished, save the city file. Click Save City List at the top. Uncheck the Auto Adjust checkboxes. We will no longer need to edit these files. Now you need to enter the city data for the other city.xml files. We can also use the tool to interpolate growth values between two city.xml files. Open the next lowest year. In this case, we're opening 2000 instead of 2020. Next, click the Interpolate Years and Values tab. Click the triple dot button beside Interpolate Source. You need to select a later year than the current file you have selected. Enter the year of that file. This will automatically interpolate growth values between the older year and the newer year. Once that is set up, click the Current Cities tab. Click the city and edit the data for that year.
When you have finished editing the city, be sure to save the city file. You need to repeat this step for all city files. 